Hello, hello. Um, about my knitting project, I thought that I might want to do, make an update for you guys. I bought this uh, kit with a lot of really beautiful yarn and I have knitted so far a lot of the project. This is the project that I'm going to hopefully be finished with. I'm at the point where I need to do the streaking, streaking, stri <laughs> not to confuse with striking. That's when you uh, take off all your clothes and run naked out, out on, on the football field. I have to do steaking, steaking. It's when you sew and cut, and it's very intimidating when you are a new knitter like me. Let me just arrange it up. So this is the front of the jacket after following the recipe. Look how huge it is. It's like super humongous. I did check the measurements a thousand times because I think this one is so big. But anyway, I got this cutting gap here. And now I need with my sewing machine to sew two channels and then cut in between them. Oh yeah. And then I need to knit, according to the recipe, this pattern to put and line the inside of the opening with it. And I was thinking, it's so irritating when you're knitting with color to pearl. So instead, I tried to experiment by knitting a tube. So I also now have to stick this tube right here. And then I will have the knitted border for the inside lining. And it's very nerve wracking for me. <laughs> so I thought that I would uh, do a little bit video about the progress and see if I do any failures. I still need to do the sleeves. I dislike that square shape up here at the shoulder parts. So I think this time around, I will try and do a fitting before I attach the sleeves so that um, if I'm comfortable sewing with my sewing machine on top of this knitwear, I might be able to give it a little bit more like figure shaped, like uh, I don't know what I have in mind, but Square shoulders are not uh, looking nice on a girl like me. So I often try to get around the square shoulders with a hoodie or something. But I think on this one, this is the back of it. I think on, on this one, I will try and just follow the recipe. So here we go. And here it is, cut up and sewed. And it was like... You feel anxious putting scissors to your knitwear because once you cut, it's just the damage is done. But I managed to uh, stitch a lot of uh, sewing machine stitches along the cut line, so I think it's going to hold. But look how humongous it is. This is what's left of the yarn, and I still need to knit a sleeve and a half. So I hope that uh, I will have enough colors. I love that it's so humongous and big because this is a jacket that I can fling over myself um, while wearing a sweater and a hoodie because sometimes it's so cold that I am wearing a sweater and a hoodie but still need something on top of that, you know, for indoor. So this is just perfect. Here I've come uh, really far with the sleeves and look what's left of the purple yarn luckily there was enough i need to bend in the cuffs of the sleeve so i got that wonderful striped texture on the inside and on the outside in the ending of the sleeves i really love that detail and uh, i've decided to uh, sew in some closures metal closures on this one because uh, then i can feel that it's wrapped around me somehow and uh, here it is done. I can't wait to try it on, but my cat fell asleep on top of it, so I'm just waiting. <laughs> I rounded the shoulders with my sewing machine so I don't have like sharp square shoulders, and it just looks so perfect. Here it is. I love, love, love it. Love the white 
sleeves, uh, love that it's just above my knee. Uh, everything about this is just um, so, so delicious. I'm so happy that uh, I finished this project. And here I'm showing my first project, which was uh, the red jacket. I love to use that as some sort of a rope, something I put on. And uh, I had an add-on to that, which was a hoodie. I did not put a hoodie on my purple jacket because I wanted one with a hoodie and one without. And here you can see lengthwise how the red rope, if you could call it that, <laughs> is like really long. And then my purple jacket is going above my knees, so it's just perfect. What a wonderful set. And uh, I can't believe that uh, I managed to knit it. <laughs> I'm also very fond of the cape that I bought from Crystal Seifert's collection. I've used it a ton this winter, and here it is. I adore that Nordic pattern, especially up in the rounded neck. It looks very nice uh, when I wear it. Um, for some reason, it's just uh, nice. So it has inspired me for my next project to do something similar with a rounded um, neck. Yeah, love, love, love this. But yeah, like I said, it's kits that I, knitting kits that I bought from Crystal Seifert. And um, when you buy her Art Knits kits, you get this thing that you can sew on your projects. And I just feel so proud that I finished them. Here I'm wearing the, the purple jacket. And uh, as you can see, the sleeves got like a, a very loose fit and I'm even wearing a hoodie inside. So what I love about this is that I can bend it up and then um, they are out of the way, for instance, when I'm arting or something, because uh, when I'm wearing the red, uh, I call it my red rope, <laughs> uh, the sleeves have like a very close fitting. So I cannot, um, you know, I, I just uh, constantly am aware that I'm wearing my, my red robe, so don't get acrylic on it, you know, don't mess it up with <laughs> with paint and stuff. So I love the addition about uh, this uh, design where the sleeves are so humongous because you can um, fold them up. It's just uh, such a lovely design and it looks very nice when I'm wearing it. Um, now it looks like oversized, but it, because the whole jacket is so oversized, it just looks... Uh, looks nice in a, I can't explain it <laughs> do you look fat in your knitwear yes you do I think um, you have to get used to that it adds some extra bulk to your uh, body but I, I don't mind you know so but a lot of people when they're talking about uh, knitting their own stuff they often complain about oh I look so chubby in, <laughs> in knitwear <laughs> but I I don't mind I'm actually um, knitting a, uh, a cow, I think it's called, because as you can see, this one is a rounded uh, uh, neck uh, fitting up here, and I'm cold around my neck, and um, I was thinking about I should knit a scarf, but uh, then I got the idea, because I don't have so much yarn left, that I could knit a cowl, uh, which is going to be like a like maybe this this tall and then you, I can pull it over my neck so I could actually wear it together with with this uh, cape right here since I'm, I'm hopefully going to pull in some of the colors from from this I am I still got the blue yarn left I don't have that sand beige but I still got some of the purples so um, hopefully this will be uh, something that's not like you know, with a scarf, it, it unravel itself, and it got like these long ends. <laughs> but this is going to be something I can just pull over my neck uh, and and be warm. So that's uh, what I'm working on at the moment, <laughs> and I am knitting this with double thread, uh, where this one is knitted with a single uh, thread. So I'm I'm hoping to get some. Um, some oomph to it so it will like stay stay up like a, a rip uh, yeah I don't even know what I'm talking about I, I don't 
I'm not a professional <laughs> knitter, <laughs> so I don't know the terminology. But I did not want a rip on my cowl because then I would feel that it would be choking me. But then I also did not want it too loose. So I opt for this very close fit but knitted with double strands. So it will have some, um, some it can, it got a good stance, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, that was an update uh, on my knitting. And uh, thank you for watching this long if, if you did. <laughs> I wish you a nice day. Bye-bye.